The AD Instruments ML206 gas analyzer measures oxygen and carbon dioxide concentrations in expired breath, typically in exercising humans or small resting animals. The gas analyzer is fully controlled by lab chart data acquisition software, which also displays acquired data and performs calculations such as the rate of O2 and CO2 in litres per minute and the respiratory exchange ratio. Connecting the gas analyzer. Before connecting the gas analyzer to the power lab, please ensure both the power lab and the gas analyzer are turned off. Connect two BNC cables to the CO2 and O2 analog outputs on the back panel of the gas analyzer and the front panel of the power lab. Connect the I squared C cable to the gas analyzer and power lab. Attach the inline filter to the sampling port of the gas analyzer to protect the transducers against moisture or damaging particulates. Note that these filters are not antibacterial and need to be changed periodically. Use of the desiccant cartridge is highly recommended, especially in very humid climates as it helps to dry expired gases prior to analysis. Use the silicon tube to connect the desiccant cartridge to the filter at the sampling port. Before switching the gas analyzer on, ensure that the pump outlet at the back is free and unobstructed. Each time the gas analyzer is switched on, it will perform a self-test. It should then be allowed to warm up for at least 20 minutes. The gas analyzer flow rate should be at the maximum when using it for human subjects or at the midpoint for use with animals. At a rate of 200 millilitres per minute, the gas analyzer has a response time of about 430 milliseconds for the CO2 transducer and 440 milliseconds for the O2 transducer. Calibration gases. A Douglas bag is recommended for gas sampling during calibration. A calibration gas can be used to obtain an accurate calibration. The carbon dioxide and oxygen transducers can be calibrated using two gas samples with known O2 and CO2 concentrations. The first can be room air, which has O2 content of 21% and CO2 of 0.03%. The second gas should have O2 content between 5 to 21% and CO2 greater than 2%. The flow rate of the sample gas should be held constant during calibration as the CO2 reading is affected by the pressure and flow rate. Please note that nitrogen cannot be measured with this gas analyzer. Calibrating with lab chart. Use the unit's conversion feature to perform an independent calibration of each of the CO2 and O2 transducers in lab chart. Start by switching off the unit's conversion settings. Next, record the transducer's response to gases of known concentrations. Then, select the region of the lab chart recording that shows the response to both calibration gases. Choose either carbon dioxide or oxygen from the relevant channel function pop-up menu to open the correct dialog. Enter calibration values into the unit's conversion dialog. Details on calibrating can be found in the lab chart help. Note that the Use Default Units checkbox in the Carbon Dioxide or Oxygen dialog can be checked to restore the default conversion values. Alternatively, you can calibrate the gas analyzer using the Lab Chart Metabolic module. Select the setting under the Metabolic tab. Then go to the calibration tab and enter the values of the oxygen and carbon dioxide for the known gas you will use and click the OK button. After that, go back to the metabolic tab and select run calibration. Troubleshooting. In most cases, when the gas analyzer does not appear to function correctly, Checking and fixing any loosely connected cables and tubes can generally fix the problem. Please note that the transducers, desiccant cartridge material 
and the inline filter may need replacing after extended use. The desiccant cartridge needs to be replaced when the silica gel beads change colour from blue to pink. It is important that you never connect a high pressure gas cylinder directly to the gas analyzer because it will damage the transducers. Storing. Ensure the gas sample inlet on the front panel of the gas analyzer is closed off with a stopcock when it is not in use for best practice. FAQ. If you would like any more information about the gas analyzer, please refer to your manual, check the AD Instruments website or contact your representative.